All right, Shroud of the Avatar R28 release time. I am creating a new character with my alt account uh, for my first look video for this release. Once again, I'm a few days late, which has given me a chance to do a bit of exploring. But uh, the first feature we can discuss is the new male avatar. There he is. I'm not going to have him that dark. Maybe that dark. There we go. Make him taller. Let's make him bald. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let's go for that, shall we? Excellent. Uh, green. Yes. Make him slightly foreign looking. Uh, we don't need to do the eye bulge. Let's uh, make his nose a bit thinner. There we go. Looking a bit like the principal out of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's what he's looking like. Let's protrude the bow a bit. Bring it a bit lower. There we go. I'll not mess around with any of this because the point of the video isn't the character creation it's the uh, you know it's the first look oh yeah three days later the first look now there is uh, in the new these days of uh, Australia Avatar releases there's not so much new stuff in every release there's a lot more new content in every release yeah, I'll materialise, that's new, that whole materialisation thing. But, uh, so, what my plan is, is to just go through a uh, starting scene. Let's uh, do love, courage, courage, and be a fighter. So I'm doing the courage scene, which is what I did uh, last week, I think, mostly because uh, it gets me in the right general area of Novia for all the other new content I want to look at in this video. Uh, there will be some new features, and I'll discuss them as I go along, but, but like I said, less, less than you might expect. Uh, the new male avatars big hunky shoulders are one of the new features. Let's go into the rift, battle of high bow, which is what we want. Although I'm not going to do any of the quests, I'm basically going to um, skedaddle out of high bow as fast as possible. And uh, get to airy. So, you saw the sort of new enter scene animation. There are some other changes to do with entering scenes. Uh, one of them is, is that you're now invulnerable for a, a few seconds after you enter a scene, which should give you an opportunity to escape uh, spawn campers, whether in PvP or, or uh, regular mode. There's a dying knight that doesn't look that dead. Amulet, reject most of the loot, no problem. We're not going to do any other quests. No, I am, in fact, going to delete this character. Yes, again. It tells us not to leave yet, even though we talk to him. Well, danger, fair enough. Must be a sword around there somewhere. Oh, there there is. Cool, we've got a weapon. And we need to go and get... Get something. Is it Tracy, is it? That's right. Up here. Corpse. Chain our chest armour. Identification papers. 
Go it all. Right. I'm not doing the fetch quest. Task. Okay. He wants us to go to Soul Town. Get out of here. Danger. Let's go beat him up. Oh, I think we've got him. Okay, so we won. We'll take all that bit. Now you see one of the new features is this uh, list of uh, levels. So as you level up, the things pop up here. They all, I mean, they, they always used to pop up here, look. But now you get this, uh, rather than pick them out of a whole bunch of uh, chat messages. Go on. You, you get to see them here, look, oh, look. my strength leveled up. Let's take all his gear as well. Let's heal up. Oh, look, I leveled up my healing up. Take out the last one. That's better. Let's chase him. dealt with. So we've got some experience in doing stuff, we've got some stuff to sell. Yeah, we're gonna enter the wider world, thank you. So I'm not gonna head to Resolute and do all the uh, regular high vowel quests. I'm going to head down towards Airy, which is actually the, um, the Truth quest line. But because it's not built yet, uh, there's no way of getting out of the Blood River Massacre uh, that ends you up near Airy. So this is actually the closest starting scene to where I want to be. So I'm going to have a look around at some of the things uh, in that general vicinity. And, uh, and then I'll switch to my main character, who's a much higher level, and pop across the uh, across the ocean to Elysium and uh, and Exeter to look at some of the uh, new scenes over there as well. So. We're in the world of New Britannia, we materialise. Our skills are still all listed there. What I need to do is leg it through Superstition Canyon. Uh, there'll be no way I can uh, currently take on any of, any of the uh, bad guys in Superstition Canyon, so it's going to be a case of running past them and hoping I survive. And then we will journey down towards uh, Blood River and uh, Airy, where I have left a whole bunch of stuff in the bank to uh, help me survive. We can also, oh, there we go, materialising oh, and levitating. So I'm going to head to Airy first, assuming I survive this. Pick up some gear. We can look at skill trees and stuff. Oh, there's some uh, copper. If you're looking for resources, there's actually a reasonable scene for uh, for getting them. Ugh. 
How close do I need to be to a gate? Really? Right. Can I get fighter can run away from him? Oh, he managed to hit us anyway, which is quite spectacular considering how far away from him we were. Let's go. Go, go, go. Now, I don't really want to use too many of these skills because my plan is not to use any of these any of these skills at all, really. This character. Some more copper if you're looking for it. Another elf fighter. What did I get? We can outrun him. Uh, it's a bit late on the old uh, control point helper. And we're through. Look at that. We survived. I knew we'd try that, said the elf fighter. So there has been some uh, performance fixes in this release. Uh, so the loading times are supposed to be much uh, much faster. Um, I've not really seen that so far, but I think that's maybe just because I was playing busy times. It does it, it does seem faster tonight, basically. And it hasn't been in the update, so I'm, I'm assuming. Ooh, boom. Ah, interesting effect. I'm assuming that the slowness was down to uh, there being lots of players. And it taking time to load all that up. Anyway. Oh, I managed to hit that pillar, I managed to fall off the bridge. How embarrassing. There we go, right. Successfully crossing a bridge 101. Pass Virtus Pass, which is another place I couldn't survive at this point. And here we are on the coast. Can I shuffle over there? Tell me about instruments, which is an odd time to be telling me. But there you go. So as we head down uh, this way, one of the new scenes is this Blood River Forest. I'm not going to go into it right now because I think it's a. Th Let's just check. I noted down here. Yeah, three skulls. Blood River Forest is a three skull scene. So well beyond my capabilities with this character at present. So here we are at Blood River. Which is you can see is the Blood River Massacre at the minute. Which is the starting scene that I really wanted to be in, but that's leaves your soul town, which was just too far away. Now uh, South Longfall Road is another new scene. And then you can see there's some wetlands and that forest, which is new as well. Longfall Forest, South Longfall Road, Longfall Wetlands. So I'm going to only go to Airy first, collect some gear, and then, then we'll come back and look at one of these scenes. So, while this is loading up, is there anything else I can tell you that we're not really going to get to see? Um, there's, there's a bunch of crafting improvements. I'm thinking you will get to see them later in the video, so I'll not mention them too much. Uh, there are some, there's two new um, titles. Uh, when this actually does load up, I'll show you them. There's titles that are what you get for being at 
which is the pleasure level and stuff. But there's, everyone has two new ones. One of them is Outlander, which is, uh, if you choose that title, you're indicating you're a new player who needs help. And the, uh, the corresponding title for that is Hospitaller. I think I'm saying that right, Hospitaller. Which indicates you're an experienced player willing to help newbies. Um, so that's that's a sort of a formalising a player help mechanism. And there have been you know, been several guilds and stuff who hang around the the starting spawn points and, and offer to help newbies play the game. Now we see this is much slower to load into. This is what I was talking about when I was saying performance doesn't seem that much better to me. But I wonder if it's just down to there being a lot of players around. Let's just, before I go any further, let's just get the titles window up. Titles. There you go. Hospitaler and Outlander. And you can, when you set them, they appear above your name like that. So if you're wanting help with the game, that is one way of doing it. Um, while I'm here, let's do this. There are no nearby players. So that's this is a new thing. You can see, so I have me thinking it's busy, you might be causing it to be slow. There's nobody around at all. Uh, by typing who slash who into the chat, you can you get a list of players who are in the same scene as you. Uh, and what we discovered is I've got this entire scene to myself. So I'm going to uh, head in here and see if we can find a... Uh... Well, first I'm going to go to the bank because I dumped a whole lot of stuff there and I want to get it out again and sell most of it so I've got enough money to uh, buy skills and stuff. I think this is the bank over here. Yes. Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Banker, sir. Roper. So, let's see. What have I got? Alright, that's what I wanted. I wanted a great axe. Another one, just in case. Let's have a steam pump hop top hat. Uh, let's have some copper chainmail armour. I don't think I need any of the rest of it. Oh, unless. What else have we got? Have we got teleport scrolls and stuff? Yes, I've got them. Don't need to worry about them. Don't need any of that stuff. Ooh, we might want the obsidian chips. Oh look, I've got four maps for Soul Town. And Ardris. What I'm going to do with them is sell them. Uh, some stuff I bought for money. Buckets of water. Alright, right, let's not get bully about it for now. Let's, uh, let's just inventory up and see what I'm wearing. So, what am I wearing? Well, I'm already wearing that. Right, fine. Let's put the top hat on. You know you want to. Look at that. Looking awesome. And let's equip the great axe. So, now that I've rendered all my uh, swordy skills useless, let's go over here and speak to the adventurer trainer and have some chat about skills. So, this is all new. Uh, you know before it was just a list, now we have icons. And 
that. All oh, very sexy. So what do I want? Bludgeon. That's what I want. Crushing blow. Oh, insufficient gold, that's right. Because I need to sell stuff first. Quick. Quick. Sell some things. Um, let's see if the fish merchant would like a map of Ardris. Some sort of armor merchant. You'll do. Yeah, I might keep that. Oh no, let's sell it. Sell that. So that. So it all. Sign for exchange. So now I can afford to actually buy some skills, which will be handy. Cloth merchant, do you want to buy a map of address? Yes! Have some maps of address. Excellent. So let's go back to the adventurer trainer. I'll not be such a muppet this time. So bludgeon is what I want. Yes. 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 Looking good. Heavy armor. Let's do an innate heavy armor skill because I'll take longer to level up. I'm not worried about any less for now. Right. Look at some of the magic stuff. So, in the moon magic, you can now summon a Will O the Wisp, which isn't a combat pet. Well, I suppose it is a combat pet. It says it fights for you. But what the Will O the Wisp does will that it will track resources, it will head towards resources and, uh, and show you where they are. Let's see, I've got some taming stuff. Subterfuge has got some new things. Train dexterity. So to get dexterity, I need to do that. I'm not going to bother at the moment. And just for there it is. Trip, no. Engage. Hit pockets. Obviously, subterfuge doesn't have. The skill I was thinking of. Is it in strategy? I thought it was in subterfuge. I'm looking for a skill. Ah, there it is. It was in subterfuge. Safe fall, which means you can uh, fall from a greater height without damaging yourself. Uh, unfortunately, it seems so far to be bugged. Uh, no one's been able to level it up. So, let's modify this. No, we no longer want that. Clear. 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 And what we want is a new exciting. Mm. 
new and exciting uh, bludgeon skills. So we'll not worry about any of the rest of it for now. I think we can parry without it. And without further ado, let's head off to uh, one of the new areas. So there are quite a few, as we uh, briefly saw, as I came running in. A whole bunch of... Ooh, there is one thing, while we're here, it's quite funny. There's a very scary house just around the corner here. A scary house, I tell you. This house over here. Let's have a look inside. Look at that. Cat enthusiast. You thought that woman in Soul Town was, uh, was crazy of having three cats? This one, she's even gone upstairs, look. So many cats. And you can talk to her about her cats. Hello, cat enthusiast. Meowsicians. She's hilarious. That's nicely. They'll always be nice to cats. Cats are wise and elegant and graceful. So there you go. The cat room or the cat house. Next time you're in Airy, check it out. I will get on with finding something I can fight. And away we go. Just gonna check off on my list of things to talk about. Things what I've talked about. And we're gonna find a way out over here. There we go. We'll see how long this takes to load up. Hopefully not too long. It may be that it's not so much the number of players in the scene that's a problem. So now, now I'm deep into a into you know American leisure time. There's just so many people on the server. That wasn't too bad that time. So what I want to do is uh, head to East Long for Wetland, which is over here, look. Because it is only a one skull region, so I ought to be able to kill some things in here. Even with my poor bludgeon skills. So when the when the uh, truth plot line actually gets fleshed out and you can start outside Red River and Airy, this will be uh, one of the regions where you come to level up. It's one of those. Uh, I presume there'd be quests and stuff here, like there are for the level 1 regions around Soul Town. We're stuck on 83%. Oh, come on! Now there might be some other interesting stuff as we go along. Let's 
see. Let's see what we can find. That was a wolf over there. Now, you will note this music. People fighting each other. Let's take the archer out. Archers are always, always a pain. It's handy that they are. There we go. Well, briefly there it was a, uh, a new new feature. There you go. You can see it again. As you approach death, you uh, you see uh, visual effects. Let's take all they get. So it's gone a bit dark around here. Which isn't maybe uh, the best. Where's the archer corpse? There he is. We'll take his gear. So you can see we leveled up a break weapon. We leveled up our innates. Cool, already successful. Let's have a look at this over here. Ooh. Attracted the attention of someone. So this seems to be a bandit encampment of some kind. Got some more tents over there. The bandits and the walls are enemies of each other, so like I did there, you can take advantage of fighting each other. I'm going to have a quick... Uh, Let's go over here, see if there's anything interesting over this side. So, what I'm looking for, one of the things that was promised for what is in this release, look crocodile, is uh, coconuts as a harvestable resource for which you need to find a palm tree. Now allegedly, there are some palm trees in the wetlands around Airy, but I can't see any, so we'll just have to leave that to another time. You know what this is? It's a statue. I I can see a way out. Can't do that, evidently. A bit disappointing, you can't find any palm trees. Didn't really look like palm tree sort of country to be fair, but there we go. So that was one of the new uh, areas. Handy handy for airy. No, it's nice low level uh, 
levelling up sort of place. Fortunately we didn't find any coconuts, but there you go. So there is um, the South Longfall Wetlands, our two skull area. Uh, and so are the Longfall Woods. And then the South Longfall Road and the Blood River Forest, which we passed earlier, are both three skull areas. So plenty of room for you uh, to be levelling up your character. So let's just... Um, where am I? There I am. Let's just head over to the Longfall Woods, because they're nearby. And have a quick butchers. See what they're like. A lot of these things are, are basically the same map as um, as things you, you've seen around Ardoris and Soltown. They're the same same template. I think the plan is to uh, make them a bit more unique in terms of uh, you know I've not seen that tent stuff. So they're they're keeping the they're sort of map the same and placing stuff on it putting different enemies in in different places so uh, even if something looks the same in terms of layout it could well be a whole different set of enemies there you can't assume you know, some enemies will, will require especially when you're at lower level some enemies will require custom treatment there are no zombies near airy yet as I understand But, uh, come on, let's get him. Alright, so like I said, this is a two skull. So I might be able to take some things on here. But it's a shame that it's dark, isn't it? But I need to find, a, uh, find an isolate individuals. What I need. I think these are the the weird Nordic like oof socks or something. And you have to be quite careful with them because they get on with the wolves. Unlike the bandits, the wolves. Look, there's one. Oh, I see. Massively higher level than me. Raft Nurka. Yes, yeah, so the wolves will come to their aid when you attack them, rather than attacking them. So I'll not mess around much in this scene, other than to uh, let you see it. It's a, a foresty scene. There's a tree house further in there, which uh, has some interesting properties. So what I'm going to do now is uh, head back to Airy and uh, load up my other character. Okay, so I am uh, back on my main character outside Airy. Oh, it's, uh, it's now daylight. There's the. Uh, the forest and the wetland that I visited with the uh, with my old character there. I'm going to use this boat to get to Elysium, and we see we are at Port Phoenix. Now there are also a bunch of new scenes to look at in Elysium. Before that, I'm going to head into Port Phoenix and uh, take a look at the crafting improvements. Uh, these are all. Uh, mostly to do with ease of use. There's not too many new things you can craft. Although you can uh, now craft obsidian armour. I'm fairly sure you have to go to uh, the special forge to craft obsidian stuff. There's an obsidian forge. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not going to go there in this video. I'll just mention it as being a new feature. Uh, we'll see. I've got, I think I have got some obsidian chips. I don't know if I've got enough to make an obsidian ingot, let alone 
all the ingots it would need to uh, craft some armor and stuff however I have uh, I have leveled up this character yeah, in crafting so there's a pretty good chance I will be able to craft something uh, especially since I can use the uh, uh, founder uh, crafting stations that are available in Port Phoenix. Now, this, this is a player in town, and the mayor can choose the soundtrack. This is a little bit jerky, let's just check to see if I'm alone. Ah, so there are two players here this time. Because neither of them are on my friends list, they show up as question marks. So I'm not alone. It's uh, quite a slow build, this song, isn't it? So we have to. Uh, that, that big house there is the guild house, where all the crafting stations are. And I've left all my crafting stuff at the banker of the docks, so I'll have to head down there first. So let's just do that. This, this is a uh, fairly busy scene in terms of a uh, number of objects placed. But Phoenix is, is uh, a pretty major league as far as, as, far as player in towns are concerned. Uh, interesting thing you'll notice, uh, although the bludgeon skill is nothing to do with my character, because I was using my alt character, the skills remain here. Let me just delete them all, so it's not to confuse anybody. Right. So, ooh, look at all those available lots. I'm not interested in them though. Oh, my vendor proceeds have been added. Although I suspect they will be at um, somewhere else. Let's have a look. Sale of. Yeah, they're all the house head. I'll have to go and fetch them at some point. Right, so let's just get the things that they're at. That's Port Phoenix. Oh, I should probably mention the kilts while we're here. Uh, I'm wearing a kilt with this character. See, that's a long one. Let's uh, get the short one. And uh, just... Uh, equipment, short and eight kilt. There we go. So, there was some controversy when the kilt was introduced in the last release in that uh, the lady kilt <laughs> the lady kilt was uh, very short, like a mini skirt and the manly kilt was really long like a manly thing oh, I want that backpack as well yep, no, no shit, I'm encumbered not too badly though Yes, the manly kilt was very long. And the, uh, let's see how much am I over. <laughs> My dexterity is still above one line. <laughs> so there. I will walk slowly now. The manly kilt was very manly. The lady kilt was very girly. And uh, Portal Alium have responded to this controversy by creating short and long kilts for both men and women. And if you previously bought the guilt, guilt album, like you did, like I did rather, you could choose, you got a refund, uh, $8 store credit, and you could choose. Oh, well, that's interesting. Because it seems to me, like while I've walked down the street and back, the guild house has changed into a, a totally different thing. I'm not lost, am I? No. Uh, this is new, by the way. It 
it's a uh, broadcast automated phonograph, so as I said, that's where. Uh, Oh, that's what I'll say. Let's say hello. So that might ruin my entire video <laughs> if there's no crafting tables. Up oh, here is that. <laughs> here is the uh, mayor and guild leader. Gallery in Phoenix Fields. <laughs> well, I suppose I could always head there. Trundle over here and see what we've got. Uh, crafting. Uh, let's just make sure I've got enough gear to do. So oh, I've got loads of all. Let's do that. Then. So, what do we want? Smelting. Hey, they weren't much better than this race. So, for a start. You can see uh, the book is different. There's now subsections. Uh, components, decorations, blocks, walls, and fences. Uh, so, can I get into components? Uh, well, there we go. It's not really working. Oh, I've not got smelting tongs. Why have I not got smelting tongs? I have got smelting tongs. What are you talking about? Well, that could be a problem. Anyway, so we can craft an iron ingot. Oh, everything freezes up. Let's see how it goes. So this is all new, so 97% success rate, as you can see, and now I can craft 
two. How many can I actually craft? Three, let's do it. That didn't really work, did it? Oh yeah, I'm doing it. So, that is the stunning new feature of this release. It is the ability to uh, craft multiple things with a single click. Uh, there's some lag going on. But we're going for it. Iron ingot. So let's just uh, prove that wasn't a fluke. I can craft three copper ingots. One. Two. Three. So let's see if I can find a uh, lower percentage uh, recipe. Alright. Uh, White iron ingot. Let's go for it. So I can do two of these. But this has only got a 33% chance. So what I'm not sure about is... Will it attempt two craftings, or will it keep going until I have two items? Because I have lots and lots of coal. So let's see what happens. So it probably will fail at least once. Failure. It's going for it again. Failure. Alright, so what it does is makes two attempts. Well, that's good to know. It loses recipe after that. So let's see. If I put in four attempts. Oh, so I can't put in more than two attempts. But it won't. It, that it won't carry on until I've got two things. Yay! I've got one thing at least. And we're off. Let's see how it goes. Failure. Well, that's enough of that for now. Let's, uh, let's head on back. Oh, I leveled up my uh, I leveled up my smelting. Has everyone has everyone gone? It's quite a neat quite a neat uh, building this. First time I've seen it. Like I said, as we run past, it was a, a sort of brown house. Let's toddle on back to the banker. And uh and uh, not be massively encumbered and then I'll head on out to a, uh, a few new scenes uh, in the general vicinity there's, there's a, uh, a Mines of Elysium I think they are and then we will head on over to Exeter to look at a couple of new scenes over there so I'm just going to put my stuff back in the bank. Oh, the backpack. I'll keep that for now. Oh, I want to try something with the backpack. Uh, I don't really need the arrows with me. Oh, I should sell all that stuff. Uh, blank book, lots of cloth, bottles of milk. I'll keep that for now. Mushrooms. Keep the water. See, under crafting now, all these stuff appears. Like, why my armour under crafting? Just makes things confusing. Confusing. And swords. And all sorts. We need the corpse wax. Uh, I'm carrying a whole bunch of dye with me. Fragments. Supplies make residue. We can sell that. 
carrots got fat. Oh, this got Gothic chair. Go in the bank. Let's season it for. Right, we'll leave the obviously the chips for now. Perhaps sometime in the future. the things I want there to sell. Maybe fragment salt sugar. We're nearly there. Nearly. Oh the music stopped. I wonder if that means Oh no, stop again. Subtle weather. Gem, tin, tomatoes, all of this crap for crafting. I wish I could just do control A on this screen and not throw away a load of equipment and stuff. But, and also reagents. You can't have zinc. Sell the zinc. Right. I'm now not encumbered. I can leg it. Uh, if you're looking for a nice town to come and do some crafting in, I recommend Port Phoenix. Friendly folk. Friendly folk. Benefactor level crafting stations which improve the uh, percentage chance of you completing recipes. So if you want to attempt difficult recipes like uh, white iron ingots and, and uh, well, kilts for that matter, come here. It's an excellent place to do it. Alright, you'll get through far fewer. Um, resources attempting stuff because you'll succeed far more often. So like I said I'm going to head out the way I came in. This is obviously the uh, more boring part of the video. And let's just check off some stuff. So I've talked about the recipe book, talked about the crafting UI. Talked about the book crafting. Oh, I missed an opportunity while I was there with all those people to show you show you a new scene. I suppose if I do who now I should get there you see. People people I'm aware of. So we know that works. Uh, there is a feature and this is called examine. I don't know if it works on uh, it works on other player characters. And I totally missed the opportunity to examine all those people when I was standing right next to them. Which is a shame, but maybe we'll see some more people. Just drink some tea. So, I just have a couple of more uh, areas that are uh, quite interesting, I don't know, well then you, definitely. So if you head up the hill from Port Phoenix, I think Phoenix Fields is that one, yes. So apparently there are some crafting stations there. Right, so this Twins Foothills is a, uh, a new scene. Oh, yeah, I came in earlier today and checked it out. So that's in order not to be too surprised and also in an attempt not to get too terribly lost getting to the interesting bits. So, what I'm going to do, there's a mine in here which I'm just going to, I'm basically going to run through the foothills and get to the mine. We'll go into the mine, we'll kill some kobolds, and then I will um, cut the video and start again when I'm 
when I'm on the other MRI. So there's quite a lot of bad guys around here. You can see some bandit type people. There are uh, obsidian wolves and all sorts. Now, I, I basically, I tried it, and I can take out, I can take out two, sometimes three of them at a time. But there's more of them than that around. So I'm just going to run past them at this point. That's that large temple wolf. Is ignoring me, thankfully. So, what you want to do, you find this east exit, and then from there, we've been chased by the timber wolf now, go up the hill. Oh, there's a man. While he's here, let's examine. You see, he's much stronger than me. Look at him go. I think generally, since I was just running through and things were stopping, <laughs> they were chasing me, it's bad form to uh, to uh, drag them past other people who might just be standing there. So I felt the urge to stop and fight, but I think he could have coped. He was much higher level than me. So here we go, Our Elysian Mines, which is another new uh, area in this race. So it's like a two for one in this scene. Like I said, if you go to that, you have to you need to run through to the other gate and then head up the hill from that. If you want to find it, there's probably another route to get to it, but that's the, that's the one I discovered earlier. And I managed not to get lost. Now this is a lot like um, most of the other mines you might have seen. I'm going to summon a fire elemental, because cobalt's burn just fine. Now then, let's see, we get some buffs in. What's that do? Right, cobalt. Oh, I've run out of fireballs. That's quite upsetting. He does burn pretty well though. Good to know. There's another one, so we'll just... Uh, Things. Where's my fire then? It's lofty. There's oh, another one over there. Oh, there's another one. I've run out of black pearl. Did I leave that at the vendor? Is that what I did? I have to buy some more black pearl now. Not the vendor, you know what I mean? The bank. Anyway. Still set him on fire, good. I tell you. So, my vision is somewhat obscured by the uh, near-death experience. Let's take all his gear while I'm recovering. So, uh, now that I've defeated all the uh, enemies. Let's just see, right, so gold ore, that's what this, this is a mine, there's a whole lot of gold ore around here, so if you're looking for gold, now you know where to come, and it's here, let's see, fire them into in the way, so 
So I've not been deeper into the mine. There's usually uh, a couple of levels down in these mines. It looks to be the same sort of layout as, um, as Exeter and uh, and the Graph Gem mines. And like I said, I'll see you on the world map. Alright, so I uh, escaped the Prince Whistles. It didn't take very long. I just ran out of that exit I showed you before. But I figured why bother including that in the video. Right, so I'm going to take this boat and ferry to Exeter. And in a minute, still there's another mine up there. Now look. I'm going to go into Exeter. Uh, not because it's a new area, but because I like the music. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see when I get in there. Hopefully it's still the same music as earlier. Also I'll sell all them uh, cobalt hammers that I just looted. And perhaps... Well, there is a couple of things that we might come across that I knew that I would discuss once we're in there. Uh, maybe not though. It's quite a nice town anyway. You may have seen it before in one of my earlier videos. There was a, uh, a tour guide here at one point. Anyway, in we go. So one of the things I've been doing over the last couple of releases... There we go, Satyrs. Is uh, giving each area unique music. At least its own sort of musical theme, and I quite like the theme in Exeter. It's a sort of uh, sort of jig. I don't know what the technical term for it is. Oh, look, you can have a house here. Look, free house. Listen to that music all the time. It's oracles, which are now in every town. Let me get scanned by a watcher. There's a bunch of stuff down the docks here. Let's just see. Town Cryer. Fisherman. Pub. Another look at it. Yes. There is the bank. The Satyr Guard. And here there is a magic trainer. I forget which uh, which branch of magic I'm able to do with. Master. Oh, I see. Will help you find master trainers. Interesting. Well, that's that is. Pretty cool look, isn't it? Oh, the door shut. It was a magic man that shut his own doors. And there's a shield. The armor merchant. Does it mean? Master bludgeon trainer. Apprentice blacksmith. Okay. I think let's see what you've got, apprentice blacksmith. Shop. Busy, busy, busy. So, one of the things in this release is there are nine varieties of shield. Although I've not yet come across. Ah, oh, well, he sold me a shield. Anyone that's selling shields. Come back tomorrow. Yes. Shot. Sure. <sighs> All I want to do is look at the nine shields. I finally find someone who's selling armour and he claims to be off duty. It's not even night. Let's whip round the corner. 
keep listening to cool music. people get knock on work and uh, going for a beer. That is quite entertaining in a way. Inconvenient for my purposes, however. Inconvenient, I say. I'm sure there was an armour of some description around here. Oh, Captain Pavilion. Oh well. Oh well. Let's see what this dude's doing. Combat trainer. Currently off duty. So NPCs with schedules. I think that was actually a feature introduced a few releases ago. Uh, it's not that common. I think the initial test was actually one of the barmaids in Braemar who would work in the bar and then go home. It is a bit of a pain though. Here I am trying to do a video. Don't they know? The demands of television. Or, you know, YouTube vision. Anyway, see you next up. You'll listen to the music. Let's head on. Uh, to a final new area for this release in this video it's become quite long-winded really much longer than I really planned it to be but there you go that's a problem when you when you're building things based around um, visiting places rather than looking at features because features generally you can see them in many different locations you can compress a lot in uh, so, I'm not sure how I'll carry on doing first look videos. It seems like they're going to be too long for anyone to really take them in. Maybe this is even with me uh, like planning out a fairly efficient route to get to the scenes I wanted to see. It's still going to be an hour and a half main. Right, so I've not crossed the river. I've headed for. Uh, this Colossus place. So, in this release, there are actually, I think, six new um, Colossus scenes. I'm not sure what their significance is as far as the story is concerned, or or, or anything like that. Um, but I have checked them out, and they they do appear to be pretty challenging challenging areas mostly because of the number of enemies rather than uh, the high level of them so as we load in now the actual layout will will be largely familiar to you from a few minutes ago oh I suppose that's, that's a lie it is a different eye material, is right. It is a different thing, but you basically, to get to the interesting bit, what I'm looking for is a graveyard. See lots of wolves. I don't really want to fight them. Oh, the zombies. I'm guessing that was a graveyard. Oh, I'm getting attacked now. All right, so there's the other exit, I think. Yeah, found that exit. I'll let it through this graveyard. I've been pinned. I've been attacked by zombies. I'm 
Oh, I died. Maybe lugging it right through the graveyard was not the best option. But there you go. I'm looking for... So, it will at least let me find... Because the resurrection anks are always by gates. Alright, now you see the bugs in the... Um, presentation so this is the south exit and let me refer to my notes yes so I was looking for the south exit yes so I wonder if there's any um any other players in the scene no just me so we'll let the wolf and the stag fight each other and then we'll leg it down the path oh the wolf it's gonna lose a bit of its impact now that we're uh, now that we're in the dark, you just saw a glimpse of the Colossus. You see it? That's the Colossus. And you'll see we are surrounded by a large number of wolves. Probably take a few of them on. Let's try it. Oh, it's time to get daylight. That's nice. Defeated wolf. I oh, know it's my shield. My shield makes it makes it light. I see. My shield's got a glowy thing in it. Anyway, so there you've seen. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now you've seen the Colossus. I'll just attempt to skin the uh, elder wolf. Oh look, it's finally decided I'm not dead. Now look some silly, neat. Yes, you'll see there are a significant number of wolves on that Colossus. Just see them over the top there. So that'll be a fun place to come, I think. On your high level. Go up the hill. <laughs> I fooled you, you little wolf. Yeah, so, look at all them wolves. And there we go. Boreas Colossus. So that was my, uh, as it turns out, very long-winded. Shroud of the Avatar R28 first look. Um, much more uh, focused on the content than the, than the new features now as we approach the final wipe in July. There will be a wipe at the end of this month so hopefully uh, at the start of the next uh, release there will be a new female avatar as well so we can look at that next time and uh, yeah if you lasted this long thank you for watching um, uh, hopefully at some point see you in game. <laughs>